you know, our next guest is one of the most decorated players ever to wear a Seahawks uniform. Steve Largent is not only half, uh, is not only a Hall of Fame wide receiver who played all 14 years of his NFL career with the Seattle Seahawks, he was also a two-term U.S. congressman for his home state of Oklahoma, where he still lives to this day. So Steve recently chatted with our Terry Holloman about the state of football today, the Seahawks, and their search for a new coach. As one of the greatest Seahawks of all times, we are kind of coming off a little bit of a disappointment season. How do you feel about the franchise right now? Uh, well, you know, now that, that Pete's gone, uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be changing. Uh, and, and so I mean, Pete's going to stay in and, and uh, help the team, I guess, for another year. But uh, he's not going to be coaching. And so there's big changes going on in, in the Seahawks organization right now. And uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, they'll, they'll bring in somebody that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's young and, and uh, vigorous and uh, really, really a good leader. Uh, because, you know, Pete was all of those things, except he wasn't young anymore. And, uh, you know, Pete, I think, was 72 years old. And it, it was time. And I think that's what Pete realized at the end of the day. But, uh, you know, they got to find somebody that uh, is energetic and has a passion for football and a uh, passion for his players. And uh, I think they'll be fine. You know, I think that there's been an established history, uh, you know, through Mike Holmgren and, and Pete and other coaches uh, in the past to uh, what, you know, what the Seahawks are all about. And so I think they'll I think they'll end up with a good coach and a good coaching staff. And we'll see what happens from there. We're going to keep our fingers crossed because we definitely need a great leader here in Seattle to take the place of one of the all-time greatest coaches, Pete Carroll. Um, yeah. You played for 14 seasons, but you've been on the sideline for a while now. You've been watching football. You've been a fan, a spectator. Who has been your favorite Seahawk to watch over the years? I know there's been a lot of them, but who has been your personal favorite? Oh, gosh, over the years. Uh, yeah, there's been, there's been several players uh, in the past 10 years uh, that I've watched, but recently, uh, the players that I love to watch are, are are Tyler Lockett, who also happens to be from Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I live now, and DK Metcalf. Uh, those two guys are really good receivers. They play with everything they have. They're leaders on the field. Uh, DK is not afraid to take a shot at a at a defensive back. He's a big guy, strong guy, and I like to see that too. Now you talk about DK Metcalf. He's a big guy, strong guy, one of the most physical wide receivers in the game right now. And he recently broke your long time, long standing record over 30 years. You had the most receiving yards in franchise history. What do you feel like when you see a guy like DK break that record? Uh, I wish I had as many games to play in as he did. <laughs> Maybe they do get a few extra games now, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do. So. But you know, DK is a great receiver, and and he's a, he's a team player, and I love to see that about him. You know, DK's down there blocking for his running backs on running plays, and you know, so I like to see that. He's he's a he's a team guy, and I was always I always felt like I was a team guy, and uh, so I, I love to watch him play, and uh, I'm all for him. Okay, so as an old football player myself and an old football player like yourself, we hang around a lot of old football guys. You know, this conversation always comes up. Back in my day, it used to be like this or like that. But what do you see is the biggest difference in today's NFL than the one in which you played it? Well, I tell you, this this is I love the NFL more today than when I played. And the reason for that is, is if you don't throw the football 50 times a game, uh, you're going to lose. Uh, and that's just the way the game is played. There's a lot more uh, throwing and catching. And that's the name of my game. That's that's the game that I uh, was always fond of and still am. And so I think I think that that is probably the biggest difference to me uh, in the game when I played. We used to try to run the ball, you know, 30 or 40 times a game, uh, not throw it 50 times a game. So uh, that that has been a big change in the game. But I would tell you that it's one that I, I like. Yeah, it makes for a lot more excitement. It makes for a lot more fun, a lot more passing and receiving yards for sure. Yep, yeah. Before we get you out of here, Steve, you know, it's been a pleasure hanging out here this afternoon with the legend. But I want to know, you know, we talked about Pete Carroll leaving and us finding a new person to lead this organization. 
Have you ever thought about throwing your hat into the coaching ring? Never. I never have. You know, uh, that, that's funny you asked that question because I got the same question when I was running for Congress. They said, did you ever think you were going to ever be here? I said, said, absolutely not. And I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for my wife constantly saying, hey, I think this is something you need to do. You need to go try it. And so she finally wore me out. And uh, and I ran for office for the first time in 1994. But uh, no, I've never thought about coaching or anything like that uh, in, in the NFL. And I played 14 years and I loved it, but I'm fine with not coaching. Well, I'll tell you this. You had an incredible 14-year career. You had an awesome career as a congressman. So I would say this to you. Never say never, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I'll, I'll try to remember that. Never say never, indeed. Thanks, Terry. 